from the San Siro in Milan. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium, and I've been hit by it too. Pumps it forwards. Tries a long pass towards the front. Little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line just had a bit of a blockage. Away from immediate danger. Plays it into the channel. Tried to play it through. I timed his run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Aimed long and direct. How about it? Fair attempt, just the wrong outcome. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions and sometimes they just make the wrong one and I think he would have been better placing that. Who's going to make this theirs? Still goalless at the moment. Cuts it out. to get it forward quickly decent ball it's come loose well he rushed into that and didn't give anyone a chance to get on the end of it still rather frustratingly it is nil nil speculative strike and that will sail harmlessly past well, he caught that one right on the meat. Cracking effort. Now the pass. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Well, we were unlikely to see a goal then because there were so many players crowding out that danger area. I think something very special was going to be needed. going to be the final action of the first half and after 45 minutes it is still goalless a change perhaps after half time and the second half gets on the way well the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked hopefully they've been saved for the, the second for that to be the case though we'll need to see more energy and invention early on Saved only by poor finishing. They've come out of the dressing room firing on all cylinders now. We could be in for quite a second half here. Clearly not what he wanted to do.
passes it through. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. That's great strength on the ball. And he's onside. Massive leap. Really well taken goal. That's no fluke. It's what he was there for. Our oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Deadlock broken. It's 1-0. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. No complaints about that challenge. Robust, but fair. Fine defending there. Gone out for a throw in. Crosses one in. Looking to shoot! Sticks it away! Oh, listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. Well, that always looked the likely outcome. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Ghana grab the equaliser, and we're all square. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus, and then bang, you're pegged back again. Looks like a good ball through. Great leap! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Yeah, and he probably didn't get the cleanest of contacts there either. You know, I think he went for too much power with his header. Looks to bypass the midfield. There will be four extra minutes. Deftly done. Defence has got rid of that. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And that will be the final act.